Well, ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time hanging out with us, we do like to read you a random Bible chapter. You know, because verse is teeny and chapter is not teeny. So here we go. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Nahum Uno. Nah, Nahum one? Nah, Nahum? Nahum? I don't know. I don't know if we ever say that right. Nahum one. All right. Let's check it out. The Oracle of Nineveh, the book of the version of Nahum the El Koshite. A jealous and avenging God is the Lord. The Lord is avenging and wrathful. The Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserves wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. And the Lord will be by no means, or, and the Lord will by no means leave the guilty unpunished. In whirlwind and storm is his way, and clouds are the dust beneath his feet. He rebukes the sea and makes it dry. He dries up all the rivers. Bashan and Carmel wither. The blossoms of Lebanon wither. Mountains quake because of him, and the hills dissolve. Indeed, the earth is upheaved by his presence, the world and all the inhabitants in it. Who can stand before his indig indignation? Who can endure the burning of his anger? His wrath is poured out like fire, and the rocks are broken up by him. Yahuwah is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows those who take refuge in him. But with an overflowing flood, he will make a complete end of its sight and will pursue his enemies into darkness. Whatever you devise against the Lord, he will make a complete end of it. Distress will not rise up twice. Like tangled thorns and like those who are drunken with their drink, they are consumed as stubble completely withered. From you has gone forth one who plotted evil against Yahuwah, a wicked counselor. Thus says the Lord, though they, are full, they, though they are at full strength and likewise many, even so they will be cut off and pass away. Though I have afflicted you, I will afflict you no longer. So now I will break his yoke bar from upon you, and I will tear off your shackles. The Lord has issued a command concerning you. Your name will no longer be purple. Perpetuate, perpetrated, perpetuated. I will cut off idol and image from the house of your gods. I will prepare your grave, for you are contemptible. Behold on the mountains the feet of him who brings good news, who announces peace. Celebrate your feasts, O Judah. Pay your vows, for never again will the wicked one pass through you. He is cut off completely. Amen. I feel like there's more to this story. Like, like I think like everybody, maybe, maybe this is the homework. I don't ever give homework, but maybe homework is to read the sec. What's next? Is there another one right after this? Or is just, is this one of those all on its own? Let's see. Yeah, you should go, you should go read this one. You should go read this one right here. Right here. Actually, just go read the whole thing. Just go, just, you know, just random Bible book. Okay. Just go read it. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. This has been the random chapter of the day, Nahum 1, not 2.